What's going on? It's your boy Perkcrown88 coming out of the YouTube video and today, unfortunately for me, I have the discipline of a child. I wanted to save as many packs as I could for Team of the Year. I mean, I couldn't. So then I took my Rivals rewards this week and I took my Chances rewards this week and I'm like, I'm going to save these for Team of the Year, but I couldn't. And my squad battles might be there. May maybe if I, if I wait 12 hours or 10 hours when I get home from work, if I don't run my squad battles, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh... What won't be there when Team of the Year drops is my Rivals Rewards and my Hut Champs Rewards, and that's because I'm opening them right now. I can't wait. I don't have patience. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy it. Who doesn't like a good pack opening? Um, but yeah, not the smartest thing to do, guys, with Team of the Year less than 24 hours away, but I have zero patience, and I'm getting after it. So let's get into this video, guys. If you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to leave in the comment section how bad of an idea this was, because one, it's a bad idea, and two, it really helps engagement on the video, and the algorithm loves the comments, boys. So hit that comment section with, you know, how dumb this is. But let's get into it. If you are new here and you don't want to miss anything in the future, hit that sub button and notification bell. It'll help me pull a purple, but let's get into it and see what we get. Okay, first thing we gotta do is we gotta go over and get our uh, get our hut chance rewards. We gotta hold L2 and go to completed seasons and you'll see results available. That's how you know you have packs there. If it says results available, you gotta go look at your results just like this. It'll show you how you finished. Once you hit okay, it'll give you everything you did. You back out, you'll see ranked by wins. That's how you know you get your rewards. So you go back into your unopened packs and you'll see your collectibles in there. You might have a pack depending on how you finished. But for me, I just get the collectibles. I have seven, but I'm in Division 2. I finished my Tier 3 reward, so I actually have eight. And what eight will give me, if I was trying to work on Team Builders or Mario Gretzky Lemieux, which, which Mario Gretzky are cheaper to buy on the auction house right now, so I wouldn't build them. Um, but you would do Mega Player Packs. For me, because I'm not going after the goal of Team Builders or mario or gretzky because they're cheaper on the auction house i am gonna go after one thing and one thing only and that is ultimate packs now i could go the ultimate choice pack and then drop down a jumbo elite pack but in the long run i would rather the ultimate pack it has 20 cards all 80 pluses instead of the ultimate choice pack which has 15 cards i would rather take this route and have more cards in the long run that are 80 pluses and hope for better pulls and you know Hopefully, I can get something to help me for Team of the Year. Now, now with this being said, like I said, this is not a very good idea. This should be saved for Team of the Year, which comes out at 1 o'clock tomorrow. So, I mean, if you have zero patience, trust me, I understand. I get it. I have the discipline of a child, and I'm not going to be able to wait. I was so close. So close, but unfortunately, not going to happen. With that being said, here we are. We have four ultimate packs and two elite packs with a 84 plus. I'm just going to rip the 84 plus and then we'll get into the two elite packs and then we will go after the uh, the four ultimate packs. If this card hadn't been pulled before Canada was eliminated, you'd, you'd be like ecstatic. because You'd be like, oh, I just got an 84, but it might be an 87. But unfortunately, it's an 84 because they got eliminated from the tournament. So now we'll do the elite packs and then we will go to the four ultimate packs. Hopefully, we can get something something good. And big purples you know maybe ea decides hey we're gonna juice the packs in 85 that's really nice we're gonna juice the packs for anybody that's like gonna open them before team of the year so we can hope on that crank up the odds ea give me some big pulls for doing the dumb thing and opening packs now Woo so we got an 85 in that elite pack you know the next best thing to a purple can we get another 85 or can we get, you know, maybe, maybe a purple, maybe a purple, but then we're going to, uh, you know, go to the ultimate packs, which out of four ultimate packs, I'm really, really expecting four purples. Kale McCarr, let's go. There's an 86 overall. That'll help for the team of the year collectibles tomorrow. So we already got one purple. So I'm expecting, like I said, four purples out of these four packs. If I get at least four purples, I'm happy. If I don't get four purples, I'm excluding the Kale McCarr because I don't count that. That was lucky. I'm happy with the Kale McCarr. But out of these four packs, I should get one purple each, in my opinion. Now, if if I go one pack without a purple, but then I pull two, pack, two purples in one pack, you know, same, same. The average needs to be one a pack. So as long as we get four, I'm happy. There's number one. And there's number one. The downside to taking non-tradables, boys. The downside to taking non-tradables is stuff like that can happen. But we get a 91. Unfortunately, I probably use it for Team of the Year fodder as 
as unfortunate as that sounds, it's a 91. I've got McDavid. I'm going to be building McDavid's team of the year. The 91 Connor McDavid serves zero purpose to me other than as many team of the year collectibles as it can give me. And it'll probably go in the 87 overall set unless there's an 88 overall set. But I will not be hanging on to it. Not a chance I hang on to it. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But we got one purple. It's a 91. In any other situation, I would have been ecstatic, but I don't need the 91 Connor McDavid, so I'm still ecstatic, but it's it's kind of it's kind of rough if we're gonna be honest. It's really rough. With that being said, I thank you guys for hitting that sub button notification bell. You gave me that purple luck right there and that purple luck. That is two purples in three packs. So we need one more purple in this pack or two purples in the last pack. This pack is tradable, so I could sell that Hillary Knight if I wanted to, but I'll just hold on to her. Her uh, her 86 is the same price as 86 fodder so i will just hang on to it and go from there 85 kucherov that's a good one to pull 83s we know 83s are the sets to build 83s 82s another 83 another 82 so we're, we're doing all right we're doing all right we only got one purple out of this pack we didn't get any one of the last one and then we got one out of the first one as it was the big Connor mcdavid so in general this is the last pack and we're going to be hoping for at least one purple but I would i'm hoping like to, to hit my goal i want two i wanted four and uh you know hopefully we can get another one out of this it's not looking good as we just reached the halfway marker and we're not even really pulling anything big we're just getting a bunch of 80s there's an 83 there's an 82 good good fodder for building team of the year collectibles but you want something big and unfortunately i'm not going to get my 480 my four purples and i'm not going to get three purples I got three purples in total, but the the ultimate packs, we averaged half a purple. That's tough. We don't have our squad battles yet. I will be getting those today at five. Probably opening them. Probably opening them. I will try my best not to. But as you see here, I have a thousand cards in my collection. We'll start with 82s. Just to give you an idea, I have 71 82s. That realistically gets me four collectibles. Just a general idea of what I'm thinking there. And then that realistically gets me 15 collectibles so about 19 collectibles that's not bad that's not bad that'll get me that'll get me upwards of of 25 collectibles and then maybe we get one there i'll have to buy an 85 though sorry not one like three or three but i'll have to buy an 85 to get that and then this here should get me around four or five and then it just trends upwards from there as yes all these will be going in and the 88s will be going in and of course the unfortunate 91 Connor McDavid will be going in. It's just, it's the time of year that you got to aggressively make those decisions, and I'll be doing that. But by the looks of things, I should be able to build Quinn Hughes and Connor McDavid, have collectibles left over that maybe my packs midway next week with my squad battles, my champs, my rivals can help me get a third one. And with my 1 million coins, I will be looking to buy one if I can snag one for cheap at one o'clock when people are ripping packs and dropping cards and trying to undercut, undercut, undercut to get more coins. I'm going to be hoping I can snag one up then. We'll have to wait and see. But that's where we're at, guys. That's the, that's what I'm doing. That's the set. That's the collection. And that was the pack opening. I hope you did enjoy it. But I had zero patience, as we know. You know, you know. Mm -hmm. If you did open them, let me know what you got. If you're waiting and doing the smart thing, waiting till tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, thumbs up to you. Good job. You should be waiting. Let me know about that as well. But thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.